Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, I have something very special for you, which is this puzzle here. It is called the First Cylinder Puzzle. And what makes this one so unique or so special is, first, it is very hard to get. So you get it just in a few shops around the world. And also, it has a very unique solution that I've never seen before in another puzzle. And um, it's designed in a way that you are able to solve it by understanding what's going inside here, even if you do not really ab are not able to see anything in, in detail. So it's a very good balance between, let's say, imagination and um, the, the, the mechanic that's behind this. When we have a look at this puzzle, it's a metal cylinder, or let's say you can see two cylinders, one bigger one on the bottom and the smaller one on the top. Both of them have some engraving. The lower one has the signature of the creator or of the designer of this puzzle. And the upper cylinder has a engraved V letter. Also, when you turn the puzzle around, you can see that there is a hole on the bottom that enables you to have a look inside of the puzzle. The hole, the size of the hole is specifically, let's say, designed that you are not able to see too many details inside, but you have, you can have a short view or a small view inside and you can see some details. I cannot show you to the, this, uh, this to you um, with the camera, therefore I gonna pick a small boroscope here. I didn't use it for solving the puzzle, but I use it now for showing you wh um, what's inside. When you look inside, you see the inner of the big, big cylinder and there is on the outside kind of a spring and um, a smaller smaller cylinder, hollow cylinder on the bottom. Also, when you press the top, or what you can do is you can press the top, but it jump immediately out again due to the spring inside. You can also rotate the top without a hard stop as much as you want. And which is something which is very special when you rotate the cylinder and press the top, you hear this strange sound coming from the inside of the cylinder. It sounds like some loose parts falling inside of the cylinder somewhere. Every time you rotate the puzzle, you hear this kind of noise. If you do it twice in one position, it's gone. So, how to solve this one? This is what I'm going to show you after the spoiler break. Okay, here we go. So, the target as mentioned is to open the cylinder somehow. And the only possibility, the only moving parts are these two, so somehow we need to open it up here and remove this cover. As mentioned, you can twist the cover, you can push it in where this weird noise appears. You can have a look inside here. So I played around with this for a while and I tried to imagine how this mechanic inside must work to open it up. So what I noticed is when you press that the balls fall from one side to another side. Or the, let's say the, the parts inside fall from one side to another side. And um, also what I noticed after some time, when I looked here inside this gap carefully, spinning it around, I noticed that exactly 180 degrees from this signature on the other side, there is something very small or barely, you can barely see it, but there is something that looks like a cutout or something inside of the surface here, of the upper surface. But it's very hard to see. And what I try to do is, I moved or I rotated the upper cylinder exactly that it aligns with this small cutout. 
because I noticed when I press in, all the parts fall from one side to another, and when I stop pressing it in, it, they somehow clamped there. Therefore, I moved the V over here, over this position, turned it around, pressed in the button, that the parts are all on this side now, where the cutout is, and then release it again, so the parts are somehow fixed over here now. And then I turn it around and press the button again. What happens then is there appears a small steel ball in the inside of this cylinder. When looking in with the boroscope again, you can see it. That there is now a small steel ball inside of the cylinder. So, as I figured this out, I try to repeat it because when I press the button, the same noise still appeared. Therefore, I repeated it and try to get all of these steel balls inside of this inner bigger cylinder without knowing what would happen if I do it. seems there's only one ball left and when I put this to the lower side this v-shape to the lower side and press it in and release it you will be able to open the cylinder like this and now it reveals the inner mechanic how it works and this is what I'm gonna explain you now. So, there are overall five steel balls inside. Just put them here on the small magnet, that they will not get lost. And um, these are the two parts and the additional spring. So, how does this mechanic work? You have here a small notch inside of this cylinder and the, the bolts are located inside here and are free to move around. Also you have this part with another notch where the bolts are located inside here. And if these two notches of this cylinder and inside here are aligned, the candle size is big enough to enable, allow the balls to rotate or spin inside the notch. But as soon as you release, this can only happen if you press down the upper cylinder, because then the notches are aligned. If you release the upper cylinder, the spring on the bottom will push the cylinder up and will clamp the steel, steel ball between here and the upper part of the notch of the cylinder. So this is how the, the what creates this weird noise. So when you move it, when you spin the cylinder around and press the um, the button, the all parts will, for example, fall from here to the lower side. Then you then when you release it, it's they are clamped between these two parts. And when you turn it around, press it again, they are all free and move again to the opposite lower area. And in addition, there is a is a milled hole inside here. And this was the cutout I have seen from the outside. And when these two shapes are aligned like this, the bolts are allowed to escape the notch through this hole and inside of the cylinder. And this is what you can do step by step, one after one. And when all are in the cylinder, you will be able to open the cylinder up. To assemble it again, you can, I, or I, I'm gonna do it the following way. I take these, these uh, steel balls, just 
take them away from the magnet. I take these two bolts, place them like this in this cylinder and uh, in, in the upper cylinder shape here. And then I take the lower cylinder, slide it in, align the two cutouts, and then turn it around. And then the ball, uh, some of the bolts can escape the bigger cylinder already, and the other ones will just follow other way around as we did before. So all step by step. And um, I'm just moving here the parts since they are... Um, the parts that are already in the notch keep, uh, keep the other parts from coming out of the cylinder. Therefore I try to clamp them somewhere else, rotate it and get out the remaining parts like this. Okay, so there's one left in the cylinder. I just saw when looking in the hole. And the last one we also want, uh, I will try to get out now. Now it's done. So um, as you have seen, the I mean, the, in general, the puzzle looks very simple, but inside the mechanic is very complex, consists of many parts. And the interesting thing for me is you will be able to solve this puzzle only by imagination and understanding the mechanic that's behind inside. This requires some time. For me, it took about maybe 15 minutes which was, I think, quite fast, but um, also I've read in the internet some people are really struggled for hours or weeks with this or weren't able to do it at all. So I, th I guess I was a little bit lucky here. I managed to do it in a shorter time, but anyway, I like to do it again and again from time to time because I really enjoy playing with this puzzle because it's, it's made of a, such a nice and wealthy quality. And um, I hope you like this video. If yes, subscribe or give me a like. And um, if you have any proposals for me for further video tests, just let me know the, um, the manufacturer and where, to, where I can buy it. And I will see if I can buy it and test it or try to solve it and show you the solution here. Until then, stay tuned and um, keep on puzzling.